Hi, I'm Alan. And I'm Emily. One of the challenges many educators face is getting students to see connections between concepts within a course and between courses. Many students learn a concept, pass a test, and then move on to the next thing. A growing number of instructors have been using portfolios to help students take a more holistic approach to specific courses and their entire educational experience. This encourages students to keep their work throughout the semester and put it together in an organized fashion. Their portfolio helps them see their progress they've made throughout the semester and across entire programs. Plus, the nature of organizing their work into their portfolio seems to discourage students from completing an assignment, seeing the grade, and then just being done with it. It also helps instructors and advisors see how the student has progressed. And at the end of the course or the program, students have a showcase of all the work that they can take with them to show future employers. Paper portfolios are wonderfully tactile, but keeping an e-portfolio saves paper, is more accessible, easy to carry, and a lot harder to misplace. E-portfolios allow students to organize their work, including videos, papers, design projects, photos, resumes, recommendations, and more. The advantage to an e-portfolio is it can be viewed online. So, if the student is applying for a job across the country, they could send their potential employer a link to their e-portfolio instead of waiting for the interview. This is also useful for online students who can easily create an e-portfolio for their courses without having to print anything and send it via snail mail. Pathbrite.com is currently a free web service that allows you to create visually appealing, organized e-portfolios. After registering, you can create multiple portfolios, collect your items, organize them, and then share your portfolios with others. There's just one click importing directly from several online apps like YouTube, Facebook, Evernote, and Google Docs. Or just import directly from your computer. Create categories and a purpose for your portfolio. Mine's just called me so far, but it's customizable. Default categories are achievements, experiences, and passions, but those are customizable too. There are several layouts to choose from, so you can really make your portfolio a reflection of yourself. And that's really what portfolios are about, a reflection of yourself and your achievements. If you'd rather achieve with Google products, Google Sites, which we have discussed here at T4LT before, is another popular platform for portfolio creation. Whatever your platform of choice, we'd love to see how you use ePortfolios with your students. And thanks for watching.